Hey, welcome back to Two Super Guys for Socks. I'm Dylan. And I'm Vinny. And we talked about in a prior video about Alibaba. Dylan and I are both shareholders of Alibaba, longtime bulls here, about my covered call strategy. So I'm going to look back over the last two years, give you the numbers, and show you what the results were on terms of selling covered calls on Alibaba stock. <laughs> Two stupid guys trade stocks. So, so I don't know if Charlie Munger would have approved of this, okay? Probably but this not. is what I did. So I do not sell covered calls in this. I'm very curious about this, actually, because I find Alibaba too difficult to sell covered calls against because it's so newsworthy based where mm -hmm. an article comes out and then it jumps $15, which is just an insane percentage. So yeah. I don't, I do on other stocks, um, but I would be very interested to see how this is going because I would yeah. like to start. Yeah, fair enough. It, you'll, you'll see. I, I got bit a couple times. So, all right. But Alibaba's had a horrible, you know, last few years, all right? During this entire like downward swing here, I want to say I, I've owned Alibaba shares. So I've been selling covered calls for quite a while against Alibaba. If for those of you who don't know how a covered call works, basically, if I own 100 shares of a stock, I can sell someone the right to buy my stock at a future date uh, before, on or before that date at a specific price. Right? So basically, the, the, I think of it almost as like owning a rental property. I, I own the Alibaba stock and I can rent out someone else the right to use it for a period of time. That's how I kind of, you know, I don't know, justify it, if you will. Except they can steal oh, your house. But yes. Totally. Um, this is all the transactions. You can go through all this if you want. I personally, when I, when I was running the numbers here, I only looked at money that came in from selling calls and money that I paid out for buying back the calls. Okay. I did. There was one time where I was exercised. I didn't include that. There was um, Alibaba management fees and I, there were Alibaba dividends. I did not include that. I wanted this to just to be looking at specifically that covered call portion of everything. Right? Wait, um, but if you get called away and then buy the shares back. That's important. So, uh, it's a little complicated. I didn't want to make it too muddy. But the time that I bought the shares back, I bought it back using a cash secured put. So, <laughs> Oh, that gets confusing because then you get money yeah. from that too. Okay. But yeah, money, money as hell. Uh, but th these are the transactions you're looking at here. And if you look at in particular, this very like first one that's all the way down here, January 4th. You know, I sold this contract at 128 and I had to buy it back at 725. Like that was one time where I really got bitten in the butt by it. And that was like right off the bat. This is when Alibaba was much more volatile than it is now. I mean, you can look at the strike prices here. That was a strike price of 130. Alibaba hasn't approached the strike price of 130 in quite a while. Um, I went back two years. I'm not going to bore you with the details of each and individual, every single one of these. But that, that's generally what we're looking at here. There's one time where I bought additional shares. Um, but every transaction is here. This is just pulled straight from Charles Schwab. All right. Um, you know, generally, most of the time I'm generating between, say, 60 and 120 dollars or so, I would say is probably about the mean per contract I was selling throughout this entire time period. How many shares to total do you second. have? Uh, I'm going to say it's 110 in this account. All right. So, I believe. OK, so yeah. one contract. So this is where I had to do the cash secured put and ended up buying it back. So well, a little complicated. I, I'm just putting all this stuff here. So if people really want to go through this on a transaction by transaction basis and correct me or whatever, they're more than welcome to. Um, Full transparency. I'm actual, over, yeah, I'm going to get to the actual. As you can see, too, the other thing that this highlights is um, I, I've been doing this quite a bit. Okay, <laughs> This isn't like uh, I did it once or twice. I've been doing this faithfully almost every single month that I've owned these shares. So this is where the, the actual analysis gets to. All right? So I've net positive $1,500 over two years doing this. Okay, It's about $753 a year. Or if you use the, the current Alibaba share price, about a 10.2% yield. Typically, people do yield on cost. Like I said, because of the fact my shares have been called away and then bought back a cash secure put, my like ability to calculate my, my true underlying cost on my Alibaba shares would be rather challenging. All right. Um, I want to say that right now, Charles Schwab shows me as having a cost basis somewhere in like the 80s. Uh, they don't include any of the premium I've, included, I've received from covered calls too either. So it's like, I don't think their number is accurate. I'm not really sure what the accurate number is though. Um, and it has been super volatile. There was twice where I had to buy back at significantly more than what I had sold the option for. Um, there was one time, like I said, where I was called away. And then I, then I did the cash secure put to buy it back. Um, but this is ultimately what the net positive or net, net cash flow to my account has been holding uh, and selling Alibaba calls for the last two years, about $1,500 net positive. What do, you think? do you have any idea how much you lost when you got called away and then bought back with a put? 
Yeah. Uh, oh, um, no, I do not. I cannot put that in. I didn't do those numbers. Would it be, is um, it, could it be like a thousand dollars? Because then that then this no. kills it. No. Okay. So I don't think no so. I, I can tell you. I it was back here. I I think even when I sold the cash secured put, I generated like three hundred dollars just from that one transaction too. So I I think it was fine, and it was about ninety five dollars a share at that point. So it was not super far off from where it is like at this point where I got called away and then bought it back. It, it wasn't like night or day. I, uh, I, it was in the general range of where it is. It I mean, so essentially after. you've gotten like 20 Bob shares for free at the current price ish. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's one way of looking at it. I think it's, it's an interesting thing uh, to, to kind of dabble with. What are uh, your, I don't know if I would. Um, Bob has been at this range of like 68, 67 to 75 for what seems mm-hmm. like 25 years. Uh, what is your, what's your strike price on the, the most recent call options? So the most recent call options Eight. right here. Um, yeah, that one, that one's a, a, probably a little bit, uh, aggressive if you will. Um, but I, I, that is kind of the, the ballpark I've been trading in now is 80, $90, uh, strike prices. All right. Okay. That's impressive. Yeah. yeah I mean, it's worked out. Okay. You know, th- there are definitely uh, drawbacks to using this strategy quite a few, um, that's why I wanted to really highlight this is like super volatile. This may or may not work. And you know, it was in the beginning, my first couple times where I was doing it, where I had some of the, the bigger losses that as over Alibaba shares have come down, my my premiums have come down, but so have the, the likelihood of it hitting my, my strike prices and being called away or like that have become a little bit less frequent as Alibaba became less volatile, the company overall or stock. Okay. All right. We just have to hope that China does not make an announcement being like, hey, peace to all and uh, let's just have a good economy because then, then you're screwed. But yeah, yeah. I, might, yeah. I, might, I might do a contract here and there. All right, guys. Yeah. All right, guys. Catch you next one.